but they turned out real nice other than that one mistake. All right, getting my uh, plate set up here. This is the top plate on the blower for the injectors. I uh, borrowed a set of LS7 injectors. I have another engine I had. I'm going to put them right here, I think. Right there and right there. Not 100% sure yet. That's where I have it marked out. I'm going to do a little more research or a little more figuring myself and see what come up with. I've been practicing drilling the holes. Uh, I did buy this uh, fancy drill bit here. Due to the injectors, but it only does the fuel rail side. It will not do the uh, side here where it goes into the, what would be the, normally the port. So uh, I'm going to do a little more checking here and then proceed on with drilling. Alright, I ended up going with the injectors here. I figured it would be more in the airflow. Uh, I don't know if it really matters that much because once the blower rotors are spinning and the fuel goes in, it's going to hit the blower rotors and probably not stay suspended very well. I don't know the the uh, physics behind it, but I'm going to go with this. I'm going to put it in the airflow. We'll see. I don't think it's going to make a difference, though. I really wish I would not have drilled these holes all the way through for the throttle body. I wish I just went in about half inch. That would have made life a little easier because I wanted to put them out a little further, but it'll work fine here. I'm going to proceed on. All right, there we go. Got two injectors in there. They fit real good. Uh, the end of the nozzle is just a hair bit inside right there, as you can see. I'm going to proceed on doing the rest of them. Looks pretty good. All right, there I got the four injectors done on this side. So it's now it's time to flip it over, indicate the other side, and get those drilled out. All right, to do these injector holes, I'll show you the uh, steps that I take. Uh, this will be a very abbreviated, but uh, you'll get the hint. First one I start off with is a 3 8 That gives me the... Uh, the hole diameter needed to get the injector tip out out into the chamber. So we'll start by milling that. All right, then when I get that hole done, I'm gonna go ahead and figure up the rest of my holes and get those all drilled out to make as few tool changes as possible. Okay, now I got all the holes drilled for the injector tips all the way through. I go back now with a 3764 drill bit and I drill into a 550 thousandths. I do have my stop up here set to bottom out at 550 thousandths. So now I'll drill that one out. I right, got that one done, do the same thing for the rest. Okay, now i got to chamfer all these holes so the o-ring doesn't get ripped when it goes down. And for that I just use a uh, bit. It's used to countersink uh, those recessed Allen bolts that uh, kind of have the V slot to them. These are for the metric style. So this is what I'll use to chamfer all these bolt holes. All these injector holes. Alright, I set the chamfer up for uh, 50 thousandths. i got my stop set. Raise the table up. Again. Okay, got one of these trial fit on here. So next step is to make up the uh, fuel rail to go on there. All right, so here's this fancy drill bit I bought. They said they want it to turn between three and four hundred RPM. So right now I have it set at three hundred RPM because uh, my next step up is going to be uh, five hundred ninety-five. So I'll go with this one. And I want you to keep the chips clean and uh, keep it lubed. So I'm going to lube it with some WD-40 and I'm going to use the vacuum cleaner to keep all the chips out of it. Alright, I just drilled that to a depth of 925 thousandths. Seems to be about the perfect depth. My injector here to test fit. Boom. Perfect. On to the next one. Alright, I got my fuel rail all done. Let's see how close I am. First time trial fitting this thing. Well, I'm off. Got off on the center somewhere. So I'm going to have to redo part of the rail. Alright, I found out I was off a number on my figures. 
That's what I get for going too fast. I didn't double check every time I drilled a hole. So I got this set up for the next hole. I'm going to make sure it looks like it's in the ballpark. And it does. So I'm going to go ahead and drill that. All right, let's try this again. Looks like I'm going to have enough to uh, count for my mistake, fortunately. Alright, let's try it again. Looks like it'll work if I can get it to move over. Yep, there we go. I'll show you what it looks like from up here. Alright, there it is. They all line up that time. And like I said, I do have enough extra to, to make up for my mistake. Um, for right now, I'm going to cut these off to the length of this plate. I may shorten it up later, but I'm going to wait till I'm ready to start plumbing fuel system before I cut it off any shorter than the length of the uh, top plate here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the next side on this. Well, there it is installed. I have not ran anything to support the uh, injector rails with yet because I'm not 100% sure. Uh, when I get a car, I need to figure out where these are exactly going to sit, where I need to put fuel lines, uh, my fuel lines going into it. I will weld bungs onto either one end or both ends. I don't know if I'm going to do a crossover or not. But uh, I want to wait till I have a car in my possession before I figure out where I'm going to secure it. Because I can chop these off if I need to and secure them back here or secure them over here. I'm just going to hold off on that for now. It should be no biggie getting them in. Uh, but they turned out real nice. I learned that one mistake. Uh, where I drilled the injector hole in the wrong spot and I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm going to use these LS7 style injectors I may go with a little bit longer injector uh, I can on this side I could flip these around where the connectors would come up here but on this side I can't because of the uh, throttle body these are in the way right here if I flip them around but they do go underneath uh, nicely I can run the wires under the injectors there and they all split out there nice be a little more hidden. I may have to do a custom uh, blower restraint plate which is not that big a deal. I've done them before uh, because usually the restraints come out about right here and that'll be right in the way of my injector so I might make the restraints come out up here and over here for that. Well that's going to do it for this update on the uh, 6.0 Roots blower build. Uh, Fuel and rails looking good. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, hopefully, it's helping. Uh, hopefully, it's helping out the people who are interested in doing this. That's kind of why I'm doing it. Uh, I have called on a couple of uh, Novas. Called on one in California, and I called on one in Charlotte, North Carolina. A uh, little out of the price range I'm looking for, but uh, seeing if they'll maybe go down a little bit if they keep it up there a little while longer. And uh, just today I noticed another one popped up that I was kind of interested in. So uh, I'm definitely looking hard. And I'm pretty sure I'll have one hopefully by middle of spring. If I could get one guy to come down about $1,500, I'll probably have one in another week. But uh, next week I'm going to try and do an update on my blower restraint plate. I've got my plate here. This is one of the smaller versions. Uh, these little things are expensive. This is $28. The bigger versions are a lot cheaper, which is what I use on my race car. But I'm going to try and put this right here. I'm going to mill out the intake, set this back in there, and then have a, uh, uh, another plate that I'm going to weld onto the intake. And this will bolt on right here. So hopefully it will look uh, pretty good when I'm done with it. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I don't think it's going to be too bad. Flip it upside down in the mill and just mill me out a nice pocket and then fit, this, uh, fit the piece that this bolts to into it and then go from there. So. Anyways, uh, as always, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe.